Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday, the 17th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather, fairly quiet today. A cold front passes through tomorrow. Then we turn sharply colder by Sunday in the first part of next week. Let's check it out this morning. There's the upper air look. Got uh, kind of a wavy flow to the north. We've got troughing over the northeast United States. New trough, uh, new trough back in the northwest. Down this way, we've got a little patchy light rain early this morning over the northern half of the state, but I don't think it rains that much today, but the sky will be cloudy. Temperatures around 40 up in the Tennessee Valley, closer to 50 for Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. We'll stay in the 50s all day today for most locations. And once again, very cold up north. Temperatures below zero, parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin. And they've got a mess ahead. Blizzard warnings in effect. For parts of the Dakotas, Minnesota, and Iowa, You've got winter weather advisories all the way from New Mexico and the Texas South Plains up to the Great Lakes. But no issues like that down here. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No severe storms expected. Maybe some thunder over Texas. And tomorrow the cold front comes through. And the good news, this time we will not be dealing with a line of severe storms, damaging winds, and tornadoes. In fact, mostly just light rain. I guess there could be some thunder somewhere, but probably not. Rain for the next seven days, the heaviest rain west of the state in Alabama amounts under one half inch. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid at 3 o'clock this afternoon, ridging over the east, troughing in the west. A new storm spinning up with a nasty, icy mess there for Missouri today and snow likely north of that zone up into Iowa and Minnesota. And for us, again, the sky will be cloudy. I guess there could be a touch of light rain. We got some this morning, but most locations dry. Tomorrow, the surface low is over Michigan. Uh, messy winter weather moving into the northeast United States and the trailing front down to Memphis. That should bring some showers tomorrow afternoon, but again, rain amounts light, probably no thunder. There's basically no instability for most of the state. And we'll be in the 50s much of the day tomorrow. Sunday, the sky becomes bright and sunny, and the high will drop into the 40s with a pretty good north wind as the cold air begins to blow in here. This is Monday. We start the day well below freezing. In the 20s, the high will be in the low to mid 40s. Latest guidance backing off a little bit on the depth of the cold air, suggesting highs between 40 and 45. And Tuesday, again, way below freezing. Colder pockets will see teens, 20 to 25 elsewhere. The high Tuesday, low 40s, but bright and sunny. That's the good thing about the cold air. It's very dry. These are the anomalies on Tuesday, much of the east in very cold air. Wednesday, once again, way below freezing to start the day. The high should be in the low 50s as we start to warm up. Thursday, rain just off to the west, and then this is a week from today, Friday the 24th, troughing just to the west, a surface low located west of Chicago with a trailing front and a batch of rain coming in here. And no snow, no ice. It's too warm for that and probably too cold for any severe storms, just rain. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 26th. A little trough hanging back over Old Mexico, but that looks awfully quiet for us, cool and dry with seasonal conditions. This is rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble for the next 15 days, the mean about two inches. And the number is off the national blend of models. And again, you can see the numbers have come up a little bit for Monday and Tuesday with highs uh, low to mid 40s and lows in the 20s. But again, no doubt, I think Tuesday morning we'll see teens for the colder pockets, those colder valleys. Teleconnections, our Arctic Oscillation, AO, stays positive. North Atlantic Oscillation generally stays positive on the mean there. So until you get both of those negative, we're not going to have any long-lasting, really bitterly cold Arctic air. So this thing, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, probably won't last too long. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Thank you.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.